Fix the application was unable to start correctly 0xc000007b. Solution 1, Step 1, Get the latest version of framework at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2qwsrhf. Installed. Step 2, Uninstall then reinstall application or game that you are having this issue with. To perform the software removal effectively, you can try the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide. Reboot your system after you complete the installation process. If the error persists, please contact the developer of the problematic application as well. And, you had better review the official system requirements, in the meantime. Note 1, in order for you to run 64-bit programs, you need to have a computer with Windows 64-bit installed or use a 32-bit version of the program. Note 2, assure the target app is allowed to run, if you're running some third-party antivirus software like Total Defense Unlimited Internet Security. Then, you can directly try the solution 2 below. Step 3, enable the run this program as administrator option. Step 4, get the link. system updates installed on your Windows. Also, try updating the drivers from the manufacturer's website or from Windows Update. Step 5, do not miss out. The latest Microsoft Visual C++ at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2wz2inw. You can also get McRip VC Redist installer at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2i0 New York HH installed. Plan B, reinstall the runtime components of Visual C++ libraries, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable package, x86, at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 1ybqbpl. Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable package, x64, at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 1dzhjx. If the above steps do not help you out, back up your personal stuff, do a clean install of your Windows, or downgrade current system to the previous one you used. Solution 2, boot to safe mode and check if the issue persists. See useful post at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2c7 udino. If not, perform a clean boot. Note, start your Windows as usual after troubleshooting with clean boot. Solution 3, 4. users only, check the event viewer for the details error report. Solution 4, create a new user account. Other voices, 1. Run sfc.exe slash scano with admin rights. 2. Check the bcd file, at your own risk. In Windows, open cmd as administrator and type bcd edit and press enter. If your Windows bootloader path is xosload.exe, then you need to remove some files and repair your bcd. Note, you will need to reactivate
afterwards, so make sure you have your Windows 7 key handy. Boot to Windows Repair, Command Del D colon backslash Windows backslash System 32 backslash XOS load dot exe Del D colon backslash Windows backslash System 32 backslash XNTKRNL dot exe Del D colon backslash Windows backslash System 32 backslash Drivers backslash OEM hyphen DRV 64 dot SYS a trip C colon backslash boot backslash BCDHRS ren C colon backslash boot backslash BCD BCD dot old bootrec slash rebuild.